I plan on starting from the person with the most defined stronghold. So, let's go to the library. Lisa should be there. Stronghold? That's an... uh... interesting word to use. Um... maybe... den? No, that's even worse. How about... lair? Slayer. Oh no. That was a bad word choice. Now Sucrose is using it. It's all my fault. Lisa, might I ask if... Huh? Sucrose. Kale. What are you doing here? I can only suppose that they were Kale-ing on someone. At least uh, that's as far as I know. Oh, please, just stop it with these puns. I beg you. Are you trying to win worldwide fame for unfunny jokes? Um, is Lisa not here at the moment? Surprising, isn't it? She went out. I'm afraid it's just us here looking for information. Except me. I'm not here for information. Like you, I came here for an abortive search for the librarian, who is also my academia senior. Oh, so you studied in the same darshan as Lisa? That's right. Her mentor in Sumeru was also my benefactor. We were both Spontamod students. <sighs> wow, that's cool. But wait, we're getting sidetracked. We came here to look for some information. Kale and I are investigating a prophecy. And we were hoping you all might be able to help. Oh? What sort of prophecy? Hmm, I see. You want to ask them about the flower that is not of this world, and me about the one who would never lie. You don't need to answer right away. We're just here to tell you about the situation. You can take your time to think it over and submit any thoughts you have in written form to the Sucrose mailbox. The Sucrose mailbox? <sighs> yep. I was thinking about it on the way. And although they seem like trick questions, there's a lot to mull over once you get down to the details. A quick answer off the top of your head might not go into enough depth. So... I decided to place a mailbox next to the alchemy crafting table. Everyone can submit their written answers there when they're ready. We don't have to call it the Sucrose mailbox, though. It could just as well be called the Sucrose and Kale mailbox. Or even the Sucrose, Kale, Traveler, and Paimon mailbox. <laughs> I think in this case, we can just go with your quick answer off the top of your head. Sounds like a good solution. Certainly more reliable than verbal discussion alone. Agreed. Certainly when it comes to discerning whether someone is a liar or not, you cannot simply take them at their word. Understood. Once we've had a look into it, we'll place our replies into your mailbox. Thank you all so much. Okay, let's take them off the list and carry on working our way down. Mm-hmm. Already done. I'm pleasantly surprised to see those two introverts getting along so well. 
Do you get the feeling that Kale's return to Mondstadt has emboldened her more contrarian side? Yes, I'd noticed that too. Traveling and meeting old friends are both good for the body and soul. And isn't rediscovering one's youth while revisiting old haunts a worthwhile pursuit? When I first met Kale, she'd never known happiness or youth, but things are different now. Her Elazar being cured was a huge milestone in her life. Kale is a very sensitive and introverted child. I'm sure you must have noticed that too, Albedo. From the time she's been in my care, I've observed that she's actually a very lively character by nature. But she had a very rough start in life, and it changed her. So, might I assume that your respective claims of looking for plants and artists in Mondstadt were just... pretexts? I wouldn't say that. Both Kale and Genius Invocation TCG are very important to me. Would it really kill you to just say yes in this situation? Fine. Yes. We came out of concern for Kale. She's been back to Mondstadt of her own accord several times, but it has led to no significant improvement in her mood. Well, it won't hurt to give her some more time. I believe that Sucrose might be able to help her. Sounds like an extension of your own self-confidence as her teacher. You could say that. In a similar vein, I've heard that Sumeru scholars often build their social relationships based on their academic ones. Is that true? I suppose it might look like that from your perspective. Sumeru society is something of a special case. The reason it is known as the City of Learning is because all of its resources are in some way linked to academia. As such, academic resources equate to social capital. It is not unheard of, for example, for people to build a family in order to pursue further studies. But the relationship between the three of us is not an academic one turned social. We've never even worked on a paper together for starters. Oh, so the academic paper is the nexus of the academic family. Hmm, interesting. I would think of us more as siblings. An equal and pure relationship, unaffected by academic considerations. As much as I'd prefer not to admit it, that statement is not inaccurate. I can understand that position. I have a younger sister myself, and it's only natural for me to be protective of her. What you describe fits the idea of a city of learning, as I imagine it. The family is where all social relationships intersect. As such, a family founded on common goals may actually be more stable. By the way, who's the eldest between you? Let's not go down this rabbit hole, please. In terms of age, I'm the eldest, of course. He just doesn't want to admit it. But your mental age is younger than that. I dare say even by enough to be the youngest sibling. Perhaps I could bring Kale into this happy family to be your elder sister. No. You will never see me admit to being the youngest sibling. Except perhaps as a last-ditch effort to turn the tables in a game of cards. Them. Now then, where should we go first? Let's try our luck at the bulletin board, shall we? A lot of people tend to show up there at some point in the day. Maybe we'll get lucky. Here. Huh? Even Lisa's here. 
Hey there, Traveler and Paimon. It's been a while. How have you been? I've been doing pretty well. You look surprised, cuties. Is it because of me? Teacher is not at the usual place. Oh, please. It's not as if I'm glued to my chair. I like to get out for a little fresh air every once in a while. Mika's here today, so I thought it'd be a good time to introduce him to Bennett and Razor. They're all out and about quite often, so it's helpful for them to get to know one another. <clears throat> uh, hello, everyone. M my name is Mika. I... I look forward to working with you. No need to be so formal. We've known them for ages. They're cool. Windbloom... fun? Actually, we haven't gotten to the fun part yet. We've been busy investigating a prophecy. A prophecy? What kind? A good one or a bad one? Gosh, that all sounds quite fascinating. I can't believe I made it onto your list of names. You really think I'll be able to help? Believe in yourself. Right, believe in yourself. You're a first-rate adventurer, Bennett. Okay, then in that case, I'll step up and present my thoughts on the matter. Uh, except I forgot I'm not really good at organizing my thoughts. Oops. There's no need to tell us all of your thoughts right here and now. Sucro said she'll put a mailbox next to the crafting bench, so you can just write down your thoughts when they come to you, and drop them there. A meticulous and efficient plan. Yep, that sounds like Sucros. I will think also. Give me some time. You still have other people on your list that you need to go see, right? We should leave you to it. Don't worry about us. We'll drop off our letters at the mailbox as soon as we're done. Okay, bye for now. Let's head over to Star Snatch Cliff next. Maybe we'll be able to find some people there. And even if we don't find any familiar faces, you can see really far from up at the top. Maybe we can find people that way. Oh, you're working so hard. Do be sure to get some rest when you can. If you get tired, you know you're always welcome to visit me for a break and a cup of tea. Where to next? Let me check my notes. Huh, this way. Got it. Kali, please follow me. Day. There are several people over there. Amber? Wow! And Eula's with her too! Hmm? Oh, it's Sucrose! And Klee also spies! Mm, the girl with the long scarf! Kali, we were just talking about you. Oh, right, I don't think you've been introduced to Noel before. Kale, this is Noelle, maid of the Knights of Favonius. Nice to meet you, Kale. I missed you the last few times you were in Mondstadt, so I'm glad to finally meet you in person. Oh, uh, nice to meet you too, Noelle. My name is Kale. But you already knew that. Relax, you two. There's no need to be so courteous. We're not on some kind of diplomatic mission here. Klee, what are you doing here? Are you planning to blast some fish? Nope. 
Klee's on patrol with the other knights. Huh. Now that you mention it, it looks like everyone here is a knight of Favonius except for Kale and me. I'd heard that there was a very young knight in the rings, but it's still a surprise to see with my own eyes. Kale, what do you do? I'm a trainee forest ranger in the Avidia Forest. Train me? It means I'm not officially a fully qualified forest watcher yet. I'm still learning. Oh, you're just like me. I'm still working towards becoming a fully qualified knight. Technically, though the distinction is hardly relevant right now, this isn't a very formal patrol. We're just chatting. <sighs> Don't panic, Kale. Just pick a topic and join the conversation. Don't panic. Whatever you do, don't panic. It's just Amber and her friends. There's no need to be nervous. Let me guess. Were you chatting about the new guests in town? Yup. A few folks from Sumeru have come to visit, so we're brainstorming a few nice surprises for them. Amber! Ah! Sorry, I, uh... <laughs> At least I didn't say anything about what the surprises are. Oh no, how am I supposed to join this conversation now? What do I say to that? Speaking of nice surprises, we've actually had a fairly big one recently. What kind of surprise? Tell me, tell me! Uh, I'm saved. Sikoros has given me a lead-in. Now, I just need to follow on from what she's already started talking about. Hmm. What an interesting prophecy. I have no idea what the answers could be, though. So essentially, you're gathering information to help you solve the riddles, correct? I'll do my best to help. Thank you so much, Eula. Anytime. There's no need to answer right away. We'll put a mailbox next to the crafting bench for people to drop us a note once they've thought of something. I'll drop something in there for sure. Nice idea. I think we can all commit to writing a note. We'll see what we can come up with. Yup, don't worry. You can count on us. But we do have to finish our patrol first. What route are you taking today? We started in the Stormbearer Mountains and we'll end at the city gates. You'd be very welcome to join us, but it sounds like you're pretty busy with all this. Um... No. There's always next time. We'll join up with you after we're done working through this prophecy. Oh, yeah, so, um... We'll be on our way for now. <laughs> See you later. Have a safe trip back. Are you okay, Kali? Uh, was it that obvious? No, no, not at all. It just looked like you had something on your mind. Uh, so that means it was obvious. Huh? Whatever is bothering you, you can talk to me about it if you want. I'm happy to help. Thanks, Sucrose. Well, uh... The truth is, I don't really know how to act around Amber and the others. Really? I thought you two were good friends. We are. Amber's a really important friend to me. I don't know. I guess if I'm being completely honest, the problem's probably with me. The first time I came to Mondstadt, I was really immature. I didn't want to let people in, and I was generally pretty awful to everyone. Amber was the one person who didn't give up on me, and if it wasn't for her persistence, I wouldn't have found a friend at all. Without Amber, I might not even be here today. And because of that, I really look up to her. I think of her as my role model, and hoped that maybe one day, I could learn to be like her. But after trying and failing for several years, I think I finally realized. I'm no Amber. And I never will be. Looking back, it seems silly that I ever thought like that. 
or nothing alike at all. My personality is so... <laughs> weird. I always get so anxious and I overthink everything. Oh, Kali. Don't say that. <laughs> um, Sucrose? Would it be okay if I... told you a bit about my past? about her but still why did she have to go through all that <sighs> i'm sorry we've only just met and i'm already dumping all of this on you this is why i get so frustrated at myself i'm always doing this i get into a spiral of self-doubt and then i end up having to find somewhere to vent it all out no 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 it's fine <sighs> i'm really glad that you're willing to tell me all this People don't open up about their deepest feelings unless they really trust the other person. Don't you think? At least, I think it's kind of an honor. And, I mean... Um... You've probably noticed by now, but I don't have the best social skills either. I always just end up talking about the things I'm interested in, and going on and on... Even so, you still listen to me when I talk my head off about alchemy. <laughs> it's a relief to listen to you talking about yourself for once. If you hadn't told me all of those things, I never would have guessed that you struggle so much. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like we're very similar people. R really Yeah, everyone has their own problems to deal with. I certainly do. All the feelings that you talked about just now, I totally get it. It takes so much more effort for us introverts to fit into a crowd. When you were saying about how you try to think about what to say in advance, and you're constantly terrified of saying the wrong thing and making things awkward, I relate to that so much. Oh, and also that part about studying under a genius. In fact, before meeting you, I'd never met anyone who's Um, I'm not very good at giving words of comfort or anything, and I'm not going to tell you to just get over it or stop worrying about it. How about we just sit here for a little while? We don't have to force a conversation if we can't think of anything. We can just sit here together. Sucrose has stopped talking, but for some reason, this doesn't feel awkward at all. Maybe she's right, and we're more similar than I realized. In Sumeru, I always like to find a quiet place to just sit and watch the scenery, but it's always by myself. I never thought there'd be a day when I could do this with someone else by my side. Mondstadt's breeze is so gentle and soft. Hey, Kali. See that cloud over there? Doesn't it look like... one of my test tubes? Um... Uh... I don't think so. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> then, maybe we're not quite on the same wavelength on everything. At least, not when it comes to looking at clouds in the sky. <clears throat> Thank you, Sucrose. I feel much better after talking to you. Yeah, it helps a lot, doesn't it? I also vent to my flasks sometimes. The next time I get the chance, I have to show you my tetratonic sweet flower and my tetratonic wind bloom. Your tetra what? Two of my favorite things I've made. They're really cool. I think you might like them. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, you'll definitely have to show them to me sometime. I brought some crackers with me. You want one? There's cheese flavor or tomato flavor. Sure. Hmm, I'll try the cheese one. Aw, look! They're enjoying the scenery together. Hmm, shall we go play with them? 
No, it's fine. Let them sit for a while. We're not what Kale needs right now. She needs a new friend. Someone different who's never met her before. Hmm. I don't get it. Is there a difference? There is. You'll understand once you're a little older, Klee. People can draw different kinds of strength from different kinds of friends. And right now, Kali needs someone that's just not the same old me. One with my play. Hey, hey. 